So welcome back everybody to a mini tutorial series of Elite Dangerous where I'm going to start today. This mini tutorial series will try to familiarize yourself with the basic instrumentations as well as the basic controls of Elite Dangerous. And today in the first episode we're going to take a look at the, uh, at the HUD. This is nothing fancy here, just the basic stuff that you need to control your spacecraft. So, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the navigation pane, which displays all the celestial bodies as well as stations, and it can be used to select them and navigate to them. As well as the galactic powers overview, the system map, and the galaxy map, which we're going to take a look at at a later stage. These are generally not use, uh, used in combat, so I'll disregard them for the moment. The next thing is the transaction panel which uh, displays all your bounties, your, your, your combat claims, as well as um, fines you may have incurred. The next thing is the contacts page. Contacts are basically everything that is in range of your sensors and you can log onto targets, as you can see here, request docking with stations and select them. The sub-target panel displays the systems once your target is scanned. The cargo panel basically does the same thing when you have a cargo scanner equipped. The comms panel. The first panel shows all the combat messages. The second shows all your online friends as well as your wingmates. The third one basically shows all the friend invites and lets you accept or decline them. And the last one shows you a general overview of all of different settings for wings. The next one is the radar panel, which isn't viewable in station and is part of the general tutorial. So we'll move on to the right panel now. The first one is the general status page, which, uh, which has the different reputations you have with the factions in the system you're currently in. The next one is basically the different, are the different factions and which state they are currently in politically. The final step shows your current balance as well as your rebuy costs, which are very important. Then you have the general statistics page. And last but not least, we'll take a short look at the system detected. permit pages. Moving on to the module pages, all your systems of your ship can be disabled here and provided individual priorities. The fire groups can be assigned in the next page. You have your cargo hold here and your ship's systems such as the affections for war zones, landing gear, cargo scoops, beacons for wings, um, turret controls, as well as the um, system repair options when things are, get damaged. On the right side of the radar you have your shield and hull indicators and your power clips. You have the possibilities to give these individual systems more or less powers depending on your uh, current state and requirements. On the left side, you'll see a wireframe indicator of your current target, as the station you see here, and some general information. In the next part, we'll take a target brief look at the flying. different controls and what they do to when you're flying. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.